I'm Tali Wheatley and I'm a social neuroscientist, which means uh, I just look at how the brain uh, understands other people, so what people are thinking and feeling. Oh, I love mentoring graduate students because uh, they keep things fresh for me. I think if I was left in this office, in my own head, I would only think about things in a certain way. And what's great for me is that a new graduate student will come in and say, you know, but I've always wondered this, and some something that I haven't even considered yet, and oh, oh that is interesting. I, and I have to change my thinking and try to figure out what what about this other thing? And so I'm continually getting stretched. My mind is getting stretched uh, by them, and uh, I'm I'm having to shape their ideas, and they're pulling me in different directions. And it keeps science incredibly fun um, and exciting for me. Graduate students uh, are critical to my lab. I mean, research wouldn't get done um, at all. It would just grind to a halt without graduate students. And graduate students work in teams with undergraduates. So each of my graduate students uh, has one or two undergraduates that they work um, intensively with, so 10, 12 hours a week with each one. And that's how research happens. Uh, that's how all the experiments are run and everything's analyzed and brainstorming sessions. So um, that close collaboration between graduate students and undergraduates is incredibly important. There are lots of different mentoring styles. Um, I, for me personally, uh, and this is, it's, it's a bit selfish to say in, in one way that um, I want them uh, to be happy, which doesn't sound selfish, but it's selfish because um, when they're happy and they're self-motivated, then they will do whatever it takes uh, to get really interesting research accomplished. So my job as a mentor is to find out in the first couple of years of graduate school what makes them tick, like what makes them just sort of light up and they decide, I, you know, I really have always wondered this and we just, we just run with that. And what I love about that approach is that they are intensely self-motivated because this is their thing. Um, they're the only one in the lab doing this exact sort of research program. They've crafted it themselves with my help. And they go, they're off to the races and they get amazing things accomplished and they own their project. Dartmouth is just this sweet spot of having the minds that you would find at MIT or Caltech, um, high quality uh, researchers, and yet in this small place that is intensely collaborative, I mean really collaborative, and I think the size of Dartmouth and the ease with which we can sort of get around and focus on our research. Um, is, it just makes all these things actually happen. So I have collaborations with people in computer science, uh, in music, and it's facilitated because we can just, you know, walk over a few buildings or work to the, walk to the dirt cowboy and get coffee, and uh, you can actually put in the sort of face time that really makes these things happen. And I think that graduate students intermingle. Um, the faculty are here. They're committed. They're not off traveling all the time. Um, or in, in different parts of the city because Hanover is relatively small. So graduate students get this very collaborative experience and very um, focused on themselves. So I think there's no better place to have the kinds of minds um, that, that are unmatched and also the, the ability to work one-on-one um, -on -one, um, in, in this very collaborative environment. I think there's no, no better place.